uh, g'day and welcome back. Um, as you can see, this is the old uh, laser hacker, got a laser saber, dual ringer crossover circuit, um, version four, I think. Uh, have a good look at it. 2N2222, uh, 2N3005, etc, uh, etc. Et 28, 20 turns and 200 turns. And a germanium diode there. Uh, I'm using a, I think it's a 16 volt. I'm actually using a 216 volt, 220 microfarad um, capacitor. Uh, everything else is consistent, including the small LED. Um, this is on an iron core. Actually, the core is from an old radio. Um, I've got, I think, 19 or 20 wines on the secondary. Uh, sorry, the primary. On the secondary, I've got, uh, I didn't count them, so I couldn't tell you. Probably close to 200, not sure. Um, but there's a couple of things that are of interest. Uh, and so let's have a look at it. Uh, and also got a copper pipe there, um, just into the ground there. At the moment, I don't have the ground connected at all. Uh, and in fact, I've found you don't actually need it. Okay, so our voltage from my meter is at 74.74. <laughs> Current is, yeah, let's make it zero. Let's make it zero for the fun of it. Uh, no current. Okay, now what I'm going to do, grab the LED and we've got flashing. And I, for ages, I couldn't work out what was going on. Let's turn up the voltage, 5 volts, that'll be fine. Okay, keep the current at zero. And then I found if I grab, if I grab it there, yep, yeah, don't know if you can see that. And then I realized the birds, which you can't hear, hang on, I'll turn the current up now. Let's go six milliamps, right? Six milliamps and voltage is almost six volts. Um, you can see it's flashing, why it's flashing, dunno. Um, I can get it to oscillate. If I grab the, if I grab it, let's get it off there so you can see it better. Okay, now it's in self oscillation um, because I'm holding it. All right, that's, that's bizarre, all right? But I'll just, Trick it back down, this is the interesting part. Uh, let's go four volts and current, let's go back to zero, right? So, <laughs> you can hear the birds, right? All right, so that's self oscillation. It's doing some weird things. I'm not sure if it's a transistor or what, what have you. Go back up to six volts on there, I reckon. Oh, that's better. You can see it going every second. Anyway, the bird, birds were going every second. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So what I did was I unplugged it. I turned it off. I had, a, I had an idea. Turn it off. Now watch this. I'll take the whole lot right, over to the electric fence unit, which goes off every second or so. And it's picking it up the induction uh, of the electric fence is causing it to, to go off. Um, so, but my hand is causing it to go off every second. I'm sort of like an inductor for it. But at the moment, as you can see, uh, we're working off no current <laughs> and very little voltage. Um, now I can get it to ring. And what I've got to do is like latest laser saber showed. Um, having that to earth. So I'm just gonna put it, where is it, just there. Okay, so it occurred to me that um, I might have the LED the wrong way around. And in fact, I think I did. Um, this time when I grab it, you can't see it, but it's going off every second. Uh, but indeed I can get it to go into 
resonance, just like Laser Sabre said, by earthing that one out there. Uh, holding onto that, which I, I um, can't really do with one hand, unless I find a way of, yeah. there you go. So now that's in self resonance mode uh, and draining to earth. So I thought you'd find that interesting. <laughs> yeah. right, anyway, so I'll turn this up a bit. Let's go. Three volt, six. You got nothing. Whew. But as soon as I let go, bang, it stops ringing. Uh, now we're at 104, 1.04 volts. So we've got resonance, had resonance. You're going to have to touch it. All right, we've got resonance. You can see how quickly it goes out of resonance, back in resonance. So that's about the ringing duration of that return ringing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab with my left hand where I touched it with the power. Yeah. So I'm going to touch it here with my other hand. And I found this very interesting. Okay, so got it ringing. Goes out of ringing, ringing. Oh, now I'm going to touch it. Brighter, off, because oh, it came off. Brighter. Okay, so now uh, one milliamp, because uh, it doesn't work at zero milliamps, uh, and almost one volt. Uh, I'm going to actually touch it here and here at the collector. Yeah, no, that's right, at the collector there. So I'm gonna to touch right hand there, left hand there. Okay, I'll put you down. So you can see. Okay, so finger on the collector, other finger on the LED. Yeah, oscillating. How about that? And quite a good, decent light. Now with the other hand, <laughs> it's ringing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. At one milliamp and 0 0.90 of a volt, almost one volt. Oh, that's very interesting. Also, I've added another uh, capacitor, which means it rings for a little bit longer. Okay, we've got 2.56 volts, as you can see, or 57, that'll be fine. Um, and no current. Um, but this time, uh, I don't have it running through my normal area. What I've actually got is a, on this capacitor, I've got a, um, a LED, a small LED. Um, that's actually quite bright, believe it or not. Um, so, I thought that was pretty amazing. Um, the other thing is, if I if I touch back here at this LED, that sets that one going again, as you can see, just started going, uh, and this one goes out. Touch it. There we go. It goes out and comes back on a little bit later, uh, and bright too. So. That's very interesting, isn't it? So an LED across the actual capacitors, um, which is, yeah, have a crack at that one as well. And the voltage up, let's go three volts. Three volts, no current. Uh, it's really bright, really bright. Um, as you can see, uh, so that's pretty nuts. Um, I'll go to one, uh, one milliamp, and that's just now crazy bright on one milliamp. Actually, I could turn the light off 
and um, show you. Okay. One milliamp and <laughs> uh, one milliamp, 2.6 volts. Let's turn the voltage down. That's it. 2.7 volts, actually. Uh, and that's really quite bright, as you can see. 2.7 volts <laughs> and one, one milliamp. And that's putting the LED uh, across the capacitor. So what I did was I turned the electric fence unit off just to see what was going on. And, um, okay, 2.56, let's just check the voltage, 2.6 volts. Uh, so that's going back 2 points. So we're using a very small amount. Uh, and what? no current. All right, no current. Check this out. Hmm. And that is once again really bright. Um, if I remove the earth wire, yep, I'm going to remove the earth wire. It won't last long. Three, two, one. Oh, it is still going. It's going out very slowly, but it's still going. There it goes, and I reckon it's almost out. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I'll put the... Um, uh, now it's pretty much out still. Oh, just touched it. Just going to touch it with our earth. And there she goes. That's fantastic. Just like um, slider and that's pretty good. But no, but it's only it must be parasitic um, current that's that's doing that. It's got to be because the um, it's not connected. It's got to be whatever's in the system. So I thought you'd find that interesting. Uh, now, all I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to, actually I'll turn the light off. All right, so we got 2.5 volts, zero current, except for what's parasitic. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, I'm going to, we're going to disconnect the positive and the negative. So, disconnecting the positive first. Disconnecting, disconnecting the negative now. Where is that? And as you can see, she's still running. I wonder how long that will run for. So that's the, um, the return, the dual ringing, uh, the looper effect. Uh, so it does have a threshold of 2.5 volts on the ringer. Uh, and if I go up to 2.6, you can see it's bright. After that, doesn't matter how much I put it up, uh, it stays the same brightness. Uh, so 2.6, I'll leave it at 2.6. Uh, the other thing is, if I give it one milliamp of current, you can see one milliamp. Um, next, if I keep putting the current up, makes absolutely no difference to the brightness of the LED uh, through the oscillation of the device. So um, back to zero. So that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, that's about it. So.